longer. Who knows, they might have come and got us, but we're brave. Um, the Obviously, the week we've had, you know, four senior players, uh, probably our four highest profile, especially forwards, um, being injured last week and, you know, behind the scenes, seeing how much work they put in and, you know, with our physio staff. Um, it was amazing and, as I said, we got two to the line uh, and in Andrew and, and Louis and, you know, the way Andrew played and, unfortunately, Louis had a, uh, a calf strain on the other leg, so it was unfortunate, but... Uh, it was one of our bravest wins for a long time. Do you feel that um, your other senior players really stepped up tonight? Obviously, Andrew and yep. Matty Boyle and Dugan. Yeah, Dugan's mate. Players. Yeah, uh, they all made a real a huge contrib contribution, and uh, you know we needed them today. You know, Dugan's Matty, and as you said, Andrew. Andrew's big minutes that he played, and you know Dugan's come up with a f few uh, special plays. One from a kick down that sideline, so um, we needed it today. Oh, I don't think Andrew to class himself as his, our fourth string captain, but um, there's, you know we're we're pretty battered at the moment. And as I said, uh, you know Wade and and Gal out, and then Louis hurting himself today. So um, I'm just proud of the whole group. As I said, when you see what goes on during the week to get people to a game, and then the play like we did tonight was pretty special. Is that something that you can tie up to the week? Well, that's Cronulla. That's Cronulla Sharks. Um, we know it's there, and um, you know, we'll see that more often than not. Yeah, it was the defensive effort that I thought, you know, we had big blocks of uh, defence on our try line and we kept turning them away. You know, they scored two tries late there, but for the majority of the, you know, the first 75 minutes, we had a lot of defence to do on our try line and I thought, you know, we showed some real steel and resolve um, uh, at those periods to turn them away and that probably won us the game in the end. Yeah, um, you know, we've got to remember Matty had two weeks out injured uh, and probably played a little bit underdone and that knee wasn't right, but you see now he's got no strapping on him. He had a, a knee injury and a hamstring injury, so it's more injuries interrupted Matty's start. So he's over them now and I think you'll see the best of him in the weeks to come. Did you feel like you were Well, I think everyone gets ready for a big game uh, against their old club. Um, you know, you can't wipe the smile off his face in there at the moment. Have you changed things around a little bit this year now as, as a kick? Does it feel like you've changed your structure a little bit as a team? Because it's a big turning fullback. <coughs> uh, definitely, yeah. Matty trained 90% uh, you know, of the time at 5'8 in the pre-season, so it's not new to him. Um, you know, we had Val and Dugs train at fullback, but predominantly... Uh, Matty was uh, at six, and but our, da our game does change <coughs> a little bit. Matty's more a little bit uh, more instinctive, eyes up, rather than stick to structure and be out the back of shape. Um, so he'd rather be instinctive, hands on the ball, going to the defensive line. Andrew, a week ago you experienced it might be out of the season. You just captain Cronulla to a great lead and a back to back career win. Um, how do you feel? And would you would you explain today how the guys pulled them through? <laughs> um, to be honest, oh. I was fearing myself this morning. I, you know, I, I, mostly I, was, I was that scared to take the field today um, in the morning and that, just the, the way I got myself with my knee and that. But, you know, a little help from my dad and, um, you know, he kind of pushed me over the line there from on Tuesday night. Um, but it's a credit to my physio and that year. Um, look, he, he worked every day, uh, night and, and, and day, got me on my days off and got me in and got me ready for, for a match, you know. What was the unexpected? I never thought. You know, where last week I was thinking my career, oh, my, my season's finished until next year, and um, here we are in the following week. Well, you're scared. Well, you're scared. What, what, what are you worried about? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I could answer that one for you. Um, he was pretty, you know, last week, you know, no fault of Andrews that we thought he did his ACL and his season was over. So, you know, any player to um, have that, you know, told that you might, your season might be over, that probably puts a bit of fear in you and then obviously the week that he's had hasn't been able to train a lot and but as I said his effort today was outstanding, I'm not quite sure of the exact minutes but I know they were big. Oh look, to be honest it, it's up to you, you know, one of the best but I know we can be better. Um, look it was, a, it was a good scramble win. Um, 
and as a credit to you know the boys that stood up, um, yeah, Flano, Flano bring in some boys and they knew they had some big shoes to fill with um, Gal and Wado being out, but you know they did their job perfectly. Scotty got over the line, ran good holes in that, and um, look at the credit to us just to you know look out towards that beside that last you know most probably scary last six six minutes. Um, the boys dig deep and we uh, we held on to that win. <laughs> Just that old school tongue and treatment, you know. <laughs> it's not, um, you know, it's not, <laughs> you know, it's not the best of treatments. But uh, <laughs> look, uh, you know, you feel like crying when he does it. But um, look, it is what it is, and it got me to play today. And I'm just grateful I got to, you know, um, be on that field with the boys. <laughs> I think too much hard love there. Thank you. Thank you.